If you're a professional coach or aspiring to become one, the Board Certified Coach Certification or the BCC might be the next big step in your career. Today, we're going to walk through everything you need to know about becoming a Board Certified Coach from eligibility to exam preparation. So what is the BCC? The Board Certified Coach Credential is offered by the Center for Credentialing and Education or known as the CCE. It's a credentialing for coaches that helps set you apart in the industry. The BCC has four optional specialty designations, Executive Corporate Business Leadership Coach, health and wellness coaching, career coaching, and personal life coaching. The BCC certification can significantly enhance credibility as a coach, expand your career opportunities, and ensure you meet industry-recognized standards. One of the great things about this certification is that it offers multiple pathways depending on your background. You don't necessarily need a master's degree in coaching or counseling, but your educational level will determine how much additional training you may need. The requirements for becoming a board-certified coach are continuously evolving. For the most up-to-date criteria, please visit the link in the description. You will need a bachelor's degree or higher to pursue the BCC certification. So no matter where you are in your professional journey, there is a path for you. The important thing is that you get the right amount of coach-specific training based on your education level. If you're looking to become a BCC, check out our CCE-approved board-certified coach trainings. You will find more information about these in the description. Once you have met the educational and training requirements, the next step is applying. You'll need to submit an application through the CCE website, which includes documentation for education, experience, and proof of the completed coach-specific training. There's an application fee, and the whole process can take a few weeks, so it's important to be prepared and organized with the materials for submitting your application. Next, let's talk about the Board Certified Coach Exam, or the BCCE. This exam is designated to test you on your knowledge of the core competencies in coaching. The BCCE consists of 120 multiple choice questions, but here's the important details. 100 of these questions are scored 20 or unscored. The unscored items are scattered randomly throughout the exam to gather data for future test versions. You won't know which items are scored and which aren't, so treating each question with the same level of attention is important. You'll have three hours to complete the exam, which covers six core content areas. Make sure to focus your preparation on these core content areas. We recognize that there's a serious lack of study prep for the BCCE, so we offer a curated study guide and flashcards. The link for the study prep will be in the description. Be sure to schedule your study time in advance and consider joining study groups or finding a mentor to guide you through the preparation process. The BCCE evaluates your knowledge and various coaching competencies that are essential for effective practice. These are the six core skills and standards that you will be tested over. One is ethical and professional standards. This ensures that you understand the ethical guidelines and maintain professional behavior in all coaching situations. Two is coaching agreements and goal setting. Setting clear goals and agreements with your clients is key to successful coaching relationships. This competency covers how to establish these effectively. Three is coach presence and applied skills. Being fully present during coaching sessions and applying your skills in real world situations is critical. Four is effective coach client communication and rapport. Building rapport and communication clearly with clients is vital to the coaching process. This includes listening skills, questioning techniques, and maintaining strong, effective communication. Five is facilitating client growth and and accountability. You'll guide your clients toward growth while holding them accountable to their goals. This competency focuses on supporting personal development and ensuring follow-through. And number six, coaching business practices and professional development. Running your coaching business effectively is key. This competency includes business management skills and continuing professional development to keep your practice thriving. Understanding these competencies not only helps you pass the BCC, but also strengthens your coaching practice, ensuring you can deliver the best possible outcomes for your clients. Once you are certified, you'll need to stay current. The CCE requires ongoing professional development to maintain your certification. Every five years, you'll need to complete 70 clocked hours of continuing education, or CEs, and cement them for recertification. This is a great way to keep up with industry trends, attend workshops, and stay active in the coaching community. Along with our BCC training courses, for those who wish to become a board certified coach, we offer continuing education for current BCC holders. Check the link in the description for more information. So what does being BCC certified mean for your career? As a BCC, you'll stand out in a competitive coaching industry. You'll also have access to high paying opportunities, particularly in specialized coaching areas like executive or career coaching. Plus being BCC certified means you're a part of a group of coaches who adhere to professional
professional standard. Whether you're just starting out or already have experience, the BCC certification is a great way to grow as a coach and build your career. Be sure to check out the links in the description for more information on how you can apply, study, and prepare for the BCCE. Good luck, and I hope to see you on your journey to becoming a board-certified coach.